Hello and welcome. Let's play Octopath Traveler. So I went around and basically robbed everybody in this town and got that out of the way. Um, there were some items that I didn't end up taking because it was it was more components for Alfin and it just really wasn't worth it. So I did leave all the inquirers alone because I want to check that out. New weapons for sale. Good to hear. I hope there's nobody in here, because I didn't actually check to see if there's anyone I could steal from. What items do you have for sale? A Falcon Saber. I think I already stole that, right? Or no, that's a sword. A piercing Dagger. Better. Quite a bit better. At least for physical damage. Uh, some of the things I did steal were... Um, where are they? An old coin, or excuse me, a commemorative, a commemorative coin and a heavy coin pouch. Uh, I believe these items are just sold for treasure, but um, not 100 percent sure on that. So I'm not really gonna fuck with them right now. Uh, the commemorative coin was the hardest. That was a three percent steal, and well, got him. That was from. This turd nugget right here. Good show! <laughs> How the world visits play? They say the girls here who dance? There's a girl here who dances like a goddess. Indeed. Okay. Hello! Hey, Gobna! Discount at the end. Nice. Undeniable allure. What the fuck is that? Um, oh, that will make more sense after we recruit Primrose, because her um, effect is Allure. Don't remember precisely what it does, though. I only have two hidden items. One's in the corner there. Level 10 or higher. King Glaive, nice. I believe that's a spear type if you don't have anyone who is a spear type user at the moment. Oh, come on! There's nothing over here? I'm so pretty! Oh, that's disappointing. stole that one thing, so let's equip you uh, the knife. It's the Falcon Dagger. It's more physical damage and more evasion. Uh, less elemental attack. I'm not really using him for elemental attacks. I don't think fire is going to be really appropriate right now, so we'll go from there. The, uh, ooh, I can't equip that. Um, no, it's not really that important for you. I basically want anything that just ups your fucking speed. I want ooh, critical actually is kind of interesting. Oh, I equipped it. Shit. No. Um. Yeah, just do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get rid of. Apologize. I'll be muting off that I keep. I have a pretty, um, heinous cough going on right now. Uh, let's just make you fucking all-out damage. I forgot I gave him this, so that's making his Steel Axe even more beefy. Uh, let's also look at skills. It's be a hot minute for you. Okay, Amputation is a huge axe attack on one enemy. Poison, single toe, revive a single capacity. I mean, to be frank, Alphans like our fucking tanks. So that's gotta go there. Uh, inspiration. What does Inspiration do? Can you do anything? 
With each successful shared standard attack, you gain SP for 1% of the damage you deal. Nice. Really handy. Okay, um... Well, let's talk to Primrose. At last! At last he appeared. He's appeared before me. The man marked with the crow. The man who killed my father. Intriguing. Should have got that thing up there. Her name is Primrose, and she is a dancer. This is Sunshade, city of a thousand pleasures, forever shrouded in shadow. Driven into poverty when her noble house fell, she now plies her trade in a tavern, suffering no end of indignities. At the hands of a cruel master, Helganish, all for the day she could have her revenge. And one day he appeared, a man marked by the crow, one of the three foul villains who murdered her dear father. And so, aided by her soul friend Yusufa, Yusufa, she sprints from the tavern to the labyrinth below in pursuit. She will need loyal allies on the path she has chosen. Yes! Let's start at the beginning, because again, this is my favorite tale. Even when the blade is held at your heart, faith shall be your shield. Words of House Azelhart. Ten years ago. Funny how it works, isn't it? Everything that happens in this world falls into one of two neat little categories. Things one is better off knowing, and things one is better off not. Jeffrey Azelhart, I'm afraid you've been poking your nose into the ladder. I have only done as my convictions bade me do. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightful easy. Mother! Make sure he's dead. Let's leave this place before we're seen. It's done. will never forget. Three men, each marked with the sign of the crow. One on his left arm. One on his right. And the last on his neck. Three men. Foul scavengers, just like the bird whose mark they bear. They took my father from me. And I will never forget. Always the same dream. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. <sighs> Bunch of catty bitches. Fine. Go on and keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. Nothing but a kept woman, here to flatter the dignity of men who pay for the privilege. I suppose you're right. <sighs> Shh, enough chatter. Master Helganish is coming. Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment! The 
opening act should be on that stage already. Now, get out there and earn your cape. Well, this guy's an asshole. tenfold since you stepped on our stage. But do not go forgetting yourself. It was I who groomed you for this role. And I will be forever grateful for that, Master. You were an ignorant girl when I picked you up. Completely useless. I've taught you everything you know. What happened to your sweet little smile? Who puts a roof over your head and food on your plate? Who bought the jewels that adorn your pretty neck? Who made you the most sought after dancer in this dusty old town? It was me, oh me! You owe me, kitten, and I'll see. I may give you a treat. Don't dally when you're done with your show. I will be waiting in my chamber. I'll have you purr for me some more. Primrose, it's your cue. I'm coming. Put your face back on now, kitten. Yes, Master. So pretty heavy tones already. The tavern lies at the end of the central road, just past the bazaar. I mustn't dally any longer. Hello. These are the dancers' dormitories. How are you? I've never been down there myself, but I hear the past just past here leads out somewhere in the sands. Cool. Uh, do I have any I can equip you with? Nope, because this is the intro. Oh. I clear the bow center, so some all day. Oh, I can still pick this up. Nice. Yoink! Silver filled pouch. Uh, yeah. This way, Primrose, get a move on. Ah, kept us waiting long enough, Primrose. Forgive me. I was fixing my hair. <laughs> it better be worth it. You're our best chance at getting to eat tonight. And the customers have been waiting. I'm ready. Let the show begin. It's her! Watch over me, Father. That day I swore revenge against the men who took you from me. The three marked by the crow. My once proud house fallen. I left home far behind, following their trail. That trail has led me here. I heard one of them often passes through here on his travels. It was the smallest scrap of hope, but it was all I had. Until I find him, there is no disgrace I will not endure. Losing my honor is nothing compared to the pain of losing you. Father, I will not stop until I find the three and see justice served. And until I avenge you, I will dance. Oh. 
Helping him in love. How about a private show, darling? <laughs> You're all too kind. And too handsome, I might add. <laughs> Not bad, Primrose. Not bad. <sighs> Thank you. Huh. Look at your sandals. Seems you've gone and broken a strap. Go back to the dormitory and fetch yourself another pair. Yes. Most happily. Make for the door tour. Oh, there! They say the place turns away all but the wealthiest of customers after nightfall. Good show! I travel across that. Uh, I don't care anymore. Excuse me. Again, I love how this environment looks. Hey! Hey! Papa, Papa, I'm gonna be in a play. I will be the princess and everyone will look at me. You'll come and watch too, won't you? Yes. Of course, my dear. Oh, Many thank thanks, you. my lord. Tee hee, how is that? <laughs> and guess what, Papa? When I grow up, I'm going to be a beautiful dancing girl, the star of the stage. Uh. Eh. <laughs> a dancing girl? That is a dream best forgotten. But why, Papa? I'll tell you in 15 years. Hmm. Hello, my dear. You want to grow up to be a fine lady, yes? Like the princess you will play? Then it would be better not to say such things. Not in this town, at least. Oh. Well, what's wrong with dancing? It's so much fun. What? Look at her. She's, she's beautiful. <laughs> Hello, child. Oh, come now. Come now, Helena. This way. I'll tuck you into, into bed back at the inn. Papa has business to attend to this night. That sounds shady as fuck. Hmm. <laughs> yes. I suppose she back to my own work. Someone fetch a handkerchief. Primrose seems to be bleeding, the poor dear. <laughs> Perhaps she got a blister. She's always dancing and oh so passionately. Oh, these catty bitches. Are you alright? Yes. I'm fine. It's nothing I haven't dealt with before. Hey! Don't you think that's enough already? Do you take such pleasure in others' pain? We're not we're nothing but the master's playthings, all of us. And we all know what happens to the girls who displease him, or have you forgotten? Beaten half to death and tossed in the gutter. Left for dead, sick and starving. S stop that! We all know well enough where we stand. We know what, we can, what he can do to us. Then why torment one of our own? You fucking tell him. Many thanks. Thank you, Yusufa, but there's no need for you to make foes on my behalf. <sighs> Prim. Yell. What are you doing? Yelling back here. Sheath your claws. It's time for work. Or do you think money flows into my coffers by itself? Get out there and collect your tips. Wait, I'm not you, Primrose. You stay. What was, what was that sorry show you gave today? Pardon? I think Do you not. think I'm blind? One glance was all I needed to know your mind was not where it ought to be. I can see every thought in that pretty empty little head of yours, and they were not on dancing tonight. Take that you haven't forgotten your debts now, me. have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you. You know the fate that awaits you if you dare defy me. Don't you, kitten? I'm warning you because I care, Primrose. I wouldn't want to see anything untoward happen to my shining star. Uh. Hmm. 
Forgive me. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me. The truth is... I was simply remembering the first day I came here to you. Hmm. Oh, were you now? <laughs> not a day, not a moment passes when I'm not thankful for all you have given me. Pray for, for pray forgive my lack of focus today, Master. It will not happen again. <laughs> oh, my dear, dear Primrose. I too often think back on the day you came to my door. Just imagining the sight of you dancing for me, as sweet and innocent as you were, it tickled me so. And you met my every expectation. You have been my best investment. God, this guy's a fucking creeper. But tonight, you have displeased me, and for this, you must atone. The crowd is looking thin tonight, out on the street with you, and bring us some customers. Custom with coin enough to cover a week's expenses. If you can do that, I may still go easy on you. <laughs> At least relatively so, kid. Yes. You are kind, Master. I don't remember if we kill this guy, but I really hope we do. <laughs> Bravo, Prim. That was a performance for the ages. How do you how do you do it? I want to vomit every time I have to call him Master. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out collecting tips? Are you all right? I was worried about you. How is your foot? What? What? Here, use this. Probably <laughs> a handkerchief. <sighs> be careful out there, okay? All right, path action. You let character you need to actually overcome. So Primrose, she can allure people and uh, basically send them to the tavern. But I do believe this is a good spot to make a cut. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.